Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com and the topic for this video is how to connect with angels. I'm going to try to give you some mindsets and ideas to uh, bring you closer to um, understand your relationship with angelic powers and angelic forces. Uh, you see that right now I'm wearing this uh, beautiful symbol here. This is called the Metatron Cube and Metatron is an angel. So by wearing this simple symbol here I'm actually what I'm doing is consciously invoking the power of Metatron so if you look at Metatron it's uh, an angel that appears in the Bible and has been all over the planet Earth and right now over here in Bali uh, there are lots of people who are somehow connected with that energy and uh, activating it um, <clears throat> you might have heard about the, the Merkaba which is a divine vehicle that we are building. It's like the, the, the angelic body or the energy body that we are developing when, you, when we engage into spiritual practices, at least some, some, some uh, type of spiritual practices. Uh, it's a little bit in, in parallel. Metatron, uh, Merkaba seem to be uh, a little bit in parallel, but let's go back to uh, the ange angels and angelic forces. So, you see that behind me over there, I have all the things, the, the, the flower of life, uh, the, uh, the Sri Yantra, I've got colors, I've got lots of things, I've got symbols over here and more of that. Um, so here's the thing to understand. It is that when you're playing music, when you are speaking, when you are doing science or you, you are getting a new insight about a business, um, any form of human activity is channeling some form of angelic power. Like what happens, what do you think really happens when you're sleeping? Where do dreams come from? Aha. When you start really asking these questions and checking out, how does it work, okay? Why is it that when I'm playing music, I'm getting feelings and, you know, goosebumps and I suddenly feel all these emotions of beauty coming in. Why is it? How? How does it work? Why is it that if I go Jaya, 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 you know, I start singing and then suddenly there is this sense of energetic openness. So in my model in the way of thinking that I have in my concept in my vision of life we are channeling angelic powers all the time the reason why we are having feelings the reason why we take certain actions is because we are activating the communication between us and angelic forces and angelic powers and as I'm speaking right now to you I am channeling a certain power and that power is very much aligned with Metatrona or Metatron because this is the angelic power that I'm, I'm invoking in this space that I have been kind of channeling since uh, I began uh, this experiment over here. So, this is it. How to uh, manifest and angelic forces, how to communicate with them. You know, let's go beyond the um, limited romantic vision you can stay in this romantic vision, it's beautiful, you know, if, if that makes you feel really good and, and uh, you imagine that there is a little angel there sitting next to your bed and that's very beautiful. It's a little bit, uh, I would say, uh, doesn't give justice to me, <laughs> to, to the magnificence of these energy realities that live in and around us, but, you know, if that works for you, that's fine, okay? Um, but I would like to give you the possibility or the vision that we are talking about a perspective that can be much, much vaster. We are talking about uh, force and beings that have the power to, you know, travel with consciousness across the universe uh, that are in terms of evolution, like far ahead of human beings. At this stage, I don't know if we are on the same branch, on, on the same evolutionary path. It means that eventually we as human beings, we become angels in our evolution, or if it's two parallel hierarchies who have actually two different branches in 
the cosmic uh, evolution. So I don't have an answer to that question yet. It's coming soon because right now the angelic forces are listening to this question and they go, oh, that's an easy one. We are going to answer that soon. For now, I don't have the answer yet. It means that it's possible that, uh, that in our evolution, eventually we start rising, uh, we start entering into a vibration and frequency where eventually our physical body is dissolved and then we have the power to incarnate into physical uh, bodies at will, maybe, or not. And uh, that's the moment where we engage into uh, possible space travel as energy beings. So I know that what I'm saying right now, you know, we are really breaking the concepts and entering into realities. Um, is this science? No, it's intuitive exploration, okay? Everything that I'm telling you right now are insights that have been coming through my years of meditation and then suddenly something appears that seems to make sense to me. Can I prove it? <laughs> you know, rationally? Uh, no, no, this is, this is pure intuition. It's pure um, intuitive research. And uh, there are certain things that you can uh, prove with science, but what are, what are facts? <laughs> what is reality? Like, for instance, right now you see a physical body. Well, you know, this physical thing uh, doesn't really exist. It's made of 99.99% .99 of emptiness. It's just a bunch of atoms playing with each other. So what you see with your physical eyes is might be very different than what a microscope might see of what you might see from outer space so um yeah let's keep that into perspective and uh, if you want to uh, connect with angelic force and angelic powers uh start engaging with it in a way which is uh, conscious aware and realize that when you are actually performing any form of creative action uh angelic forces are present. They are present around you all the time. They are present when you're dreaming, they are present when you're awake, when you're speaking, when you're gathering. There's always a sponsoring force. Uh, angelic forces are present when I'm coaching. You know, if you and I are having a coaching session uh, via Skype, there is an angelic force there. There is a, what I call the spirit of coaching is present. There's an angelic force that supervises the evolution of New York and any other city. There is a, um, an angelic a set of powers and forces that are sponsoring the evolution of any civilization, the evolution of technology, the evolution of our eating patterns and habits. Something is, some angelic power is supervising right now the, the, the working of my own body, the fact that my heart is pumping. All that are programs that have been implanted in human consciousness and uh, that we function with all the time. So. <laughs> it's such a vast topic. I don't, I don't even know uh, where to start or where to begin, but I hope this gives you some, some hints and some, pers some perspective that you can start applying in your life straight away. It's, uh, you know, it's powerful. Check it out. I want to invoke right now the, the angelic powers that are around us, you know, consciously uh, ask the forces those intelligences to start actively communicating with us in ways that are relevant uh, and directing us as well in ways that are aligned with our long-term evolution and potential. And if you are in your house right now, you're watching this video, um, here is a simple prayer that you can send out. It goes like that. Please help me, guide me. very simple. You want to connect with angelic powers? Just say that. They will respond. <laughs> 